NXT TakeOver Chicago is June 16th. And we have a lot of matches on the card that we just need to talk about, so we'll go through those quickly. And one thing that will probably happen, but I'm not sure about at the moment, so we'll talk about that at the end. Uh, first off, the NXT Championship is on the line as Aleister Black defends against Lars Sullivan. Um, it's kind of weird with takeovers because at the end of the day, uh, NXT is still developmental. So you have to look towards who they'll call up. Who they'll just keep for a little while and, and stuff like that. Uh, this is what we call booking ourselves into a corner. Because on one hand, Alistair is a great champion, is a great guy. Has all the tools to become the next big thing that it'll be in the years, in the years down the road. But uh, Lars is supposed to be a monster for a reason. And uh, I really don't know what this one. Because on one hand... Uh, Lars should be the champion. He should be a dominant champion at that point. Uh, it may be too soon for that, but I don't know for sure. But uh, at the same time, you can't keep Alistair in NXT forever. So I'm going to go for the upset. I'm going to say Lars Sullivan just based on that, but I, I don't know. I really don't know. Uh, next up is a S Chicago street fight as J uh, Johnny Gargano. Faces Tommaso Ciampa, both of them signed contracts, so it's now official. Uh, at least, I think both of them signed their contracts. At least Gargano signed his. Last night on NXT. Uh, this will probably be the blow-off, hopefully. It should have been the last takeover, but, you know, you gotta have them doing something, I guess. So that, that works, too. Um, I really don't know with this one. I really don't know. Um, I will say that Gargano is back in NXT yeah, since winning the last match, so there's no point in bringing him up for a while. So I would give Ciampa the win and just keep the feud going. And finally, uh, well not finally, but still, uh, Ricochet versus the Velveteen Dream in a match that everyone's wanted so far. Um, again, these are really hard to pick here, but I would give the Dream the win just because I don't know how long he's going to be in NXT, and Ricochet can easily get that momentum back. I'm just going to pick the Dream for the upset. Um, and one thing we do need to talk about, uh, with the NXT Women's Championship is that Nikki Cross, in her own mind, is the new champion. What I say by that is it was an unofficial match. Uh, last night on NXT, Shayna Baszler defeated uh, Dakota Kai for the title in, during a title match. After the match, Nikki Cross came out um, and made a title match happen with Dakota Kai as the referee. Um, this was not official in any way, shape, or form, but uh, Cross did pin the champion, so technically, with possession being nine tenths of the law. She is the champion. However, the, I don't know if this will stand or not. I don't really think it will. I don't I don't believe it will. And it'll probably lead towards a women's title match at, at the TakeOver event. But we don't know that for sure. All we do know is TakeOver is June 16th. And a lot will be happening. Uh, especially with the Download Festival coming up. And the UK Tournament and all that as well.